Good morning, Beulah. On behalf of the Youth Advisory Committee, we extend a hearty welcome to all of you on our annual Youth Recognition Sunday. Today, we would like to recognize and congratulate Beulah's graduating youth for the 2023 school year. We love and appreciate these students and acknowledge their hard work and dedication to their studies, which enabled them to graduate. Many thanks to the parents of these youth who supported them in achieving their goals. Again, congratulations to these fabulous students. Thank you. Good morning, Beulah. It's now time for our prayer. We bow your heads. Turn our God, Father, we thank you once again for another day. We thank you once again for a day we'll see and never seen before. We come bearing our prayers for these young youth, these class of 2023. Thank you, O oh God, for letting them be able to perspire, perspire, and do whatever they need to do. God, you covered them, you gathered them, the, the, the perfect, gave them the perfect opportunities that they needed in their school. We thank you for covering them, guiding them, protecting them through all the dangerous times in the school, and then when it's a good time. We pray, O oh God, wherever well, the endeavors may be, that you be with them, that they put their heels and put everything before you. Keep them, guide them, protect them, whatever they may do. The words our mouth, meditation of our heart, O oh Lord, be accepted in our sight. O oh Lord, thy strength and our need. In Jesus' name we do pray. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen, amen, amen. Good morning, everybody. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's an honor for me to be here with you all this morning as we uh, recognize our graduating seniors from 2023. And uh, just to say thank you for them, to them, for all they've meant to Beulah through these years. We thank the parents for keeping with them and keeping them grounded uh, and, 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 and keeping them in school to the point of graduation. And though sometimes we don't count it as much, but this is a major stone, uh, a major stepping stone for our seniors as they start to go forward, whether it be to college, whether it be a job. But they are entering into adulthood now, and I'm just proud to be here to recognize them as graduating seniors of Beulah Baptist Church. I congratulate the parents, because I know they worked hard. There are some times that perhaps they had to remind them that they had homework to do, remind them that if this is not done, you don't go to that football game or whatever. But it's a joint effort between all of us and everything we talk about that village, we are that village. So I'd like to just congratulate, congratulate the parents, the seniors, and everybody, whether it's an auntie or uncle or whomever, and uh, as the way I look at it is that this is our starting team for next year. And for all of you who don't know and don't remember, this is actually the first time all of our recipients are young men. That's a blessing. And they need a hand clap for that. And the part that I'm most proud of, because I guess I heard all the talk, uh, most of it, this is the fifth year that we're doing this. That's four years after everybody else was saying it ain't gonna last. It's lasting. And if God's will, it will continue to last. Uh, so as not to go way over my time, at this particular point in time, I'd like everybody on Youth Advisory Committee to stand. And uh, we start with uh, Sister Vonsea Gregory, Brother Moe's Howe, Sister Tamara May, Sister Nora Love, uh, Brother Dave Hughes, the not have gone to the picnic, so she's not here right now. And uh, Sister Marietta Wilson and Louis Trudy James Felton, who is the chair of the Youth Advisory Committee, but very much so uh, recognizing uh, Deacon Pugh as uh, the leader of Youth Church, and we all work together to try to do what's good for our children. I thank you all for letting me take these few minutes to do this. And again, I congratulate our seniors on the fine job that they're doing and ask them to just keep God with them and he will make a way. This is one of the things that I take great pleasure in doing. It's uh, being able to help our young men 
go forth in life and to give them something that would help help them as they go into and matriculate into college. Okay. Uh, we have three powerful young men today that have been a part of Beulah, a missionary Baptist church ever since, uh, for a long time, pretty much, I know a couple of them ever since they were born. Right? So we are, we, we are thankful and we appreciate their hard work. And just to let you know, uh, the gift that we have for them is going to be something that they can use on their studies and on their journey. First of all, let me welcome and congratulate Mr. Marty Baines. Marty is a graduate of Booker T. Washington Mackinac High School. And what Marty is going to do, he's going to matriculate to Tuskegee University and HBCU. And he, have an equal, he also received an equal just an initiative scholarship of $10,000. So that will help him get started. But with his studies, Beauty is offering him a computer and a congratulations for a job well done. And we employ you to keep up the good work. God bless you, man. Our next facility is Zion Hall from Valley Cross Academy. Now, Zion has been very active in his work as a high school student. First of all, Zion have a, a golf scholarship, so we're looking at the next Tiger Woods. Right, all right. Woo! He will be going to the Moon Orange College in Memphis, Tennessee on a golf scholarship. Not only do he have a golf scholarship, okay, he is, uh, he's a member of the inaugural class of National Honor Society in this school at uh, Valley Cross Academy. Not only that, he was the co-photographer for the yearbook at this school. Guess what? He received not only a golf scholarship, but he also received other numerous accolades. And he had a plan. He said, he's going to major in biology. But once he finished, he going to med school. He's going to either be, he want to be an orthopedic surgeon, but if not an orthopedic surgeon, a spoke medicine, medicine physician. And the church let's give a good round of applause to our beautiful man, Brian Hall. give him good work. Last but not least, me and him can recognize us because we, we like to grin on him. He don't know how to play the of football. Um, I tell you, Mr. Mays is, is awesome. He is a graduate of George Washington Carver High School here in Montgomery, Alabama. Right? And that's where he's going to matriculate. Another HBCU. <laughs> Go House College in Manhattan. It is so important that our, our kids learn that what we have to offer them from the perspective of black schools is second to none. And, and for them to go there is, is a blessing. All right, also, he's going to bring you computer science. So he'll be coming back to help too. <laughs> and also, he got a scholarship from the EJT Scholarship Foundation. He also got a scholarship of Bill Gates Millennium Scholarship, and he has a Mohawk Athletic Scholarship. Wow. Right. Now, we're going to give kudos to, to, to Mary, his mama, and his dad, Daniel, for 
Christian Bill and being that for him. On behalf of you, man, we are so proud of you. And we hope you take this and use it for your studies and use it well. Thank you. We thank you. And we are proud of all our guys. We want to do great guys and make sure you carry with you whatever you do. You carry with you the Lord. Let him be first. See, everything else will fall in place. Well, congratulations. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. If you don't have anything to say, I'm going to do a poem. Okay. All heads bow. Our Father, our Father, as we come, we come with a bow of head on the wall. We want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for allowing these young men to graduate in 2020. And as they go forward in life, Lord, let Jesus lead you. If you keep him first in your life, you shouldn't have any problems. But if you do have problems, he's always there on the track. You all are stepping out on the world for the first time. Do the best you can as you do the prayer. Lord, know we love you. We need you. And we will be with you. Please bless me at your son, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen.